This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Friday, June 30th, 2017. Uh, this year is almost half over. Uh, the title of this rant is, The U.S. Mayors Unanimously Commit to 100% Renewables by 2035. So, again, something that's getting passed over because uh, the loser just wants a lot of attention is that this week, the U.S. Uh, Conference of Mayors voted unanimously to commit to 100% renewables by 2035. All right. They also called for Congress to commit to the Paris Climate uh, Agreement and also the Clean Power Plan plan, which includes things like making sure that things that we have for refrigerators, uh, dishwashers, boilers, heaters, air conditioners uh, uh, are run as efficiently as possible. So that was a tremendous commitment on their part. As I said, unanimous, it was on red states, it was on blue states, it was on mayors in red cities and in blue cities. And if we look at the top 10 cities, um, L.A., New York, Chicago, Houston, etc. Three of those top 10 cities, top 11, I'm sorry, California. Three others are also in Texas. California is going faster than we're going. The rest of the United States is going to renewables. Texas, which has a shitty governor and had a previous shitty governor, uh, basically don't want to do any of that stuff. They still want to just drill for oil, but they're the largest producer of wind energy in the United States. You know, kind of uh, ironic there. But, so what is this, ba and, and on top of all of this, like I said, that was unanimous. On top of all of this, this year, so many major companies, I think over 50 of the top Fortune 500 companies uh, in the U.S. have committed to extremely high uh, renewable energy goals. Apple, uh, Google, Anheuser-Busch has committed to 2025 to being 100%. Um, renewables. Lego, General Mills, Home Depot, Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, they've all committed to tr tremendously high goals for renewable energy in the very foreseeable future. And, you know, the U.S. Uh, and the world, mostly the world, not as much as the U.S., but they're, ex you know, accelerating factorially towards a carbon-free planet. Now, yes, it probably can't happen for at least 50 years, maybe not even more, much longer than that. But they're accelerating at an exceptional pace. And where is the leadership of the minority administration on this? Our current leadership, led by the loser, they're kowtowing, they're hiding, they're ducking and running, they're not accepting the challenge. We need true leadership to take on this challenge. Because, as they say, there is no planet B.